Pressure check in the line set is really very easy. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have your hoses hooked up. I've got it hooked up to both sides, both the liquid and the suction side. Now I'm cheating just a bit because I do have a digital gauge so I can see exactly what my pressure readings are. As you can see, they're at zero right now. Next thing you want to do is to make sure that you're hooked up to a nitrogen tank with a regulator on it. The regulator is going to help you control the high pressure that's inside of the tank and dampen it down to a usable pressure that we're going to use inside of the system to pressurize the system to make sure there's no leaks. So, what I've done is I've hooked up my regulator, hooked up my hoses. Now I'm going to turn on the nitrogen tank. Once I've done that, I'm then going to increase the pressure going through the delivery gauge so that I can set the maximum amount of pressure that I want to have inside of this system, which I am going to set at about 250 PSI. Some people go higher than that. However, you've got to be careful not to exceed the maximum rating on the lowest pressured part of your system, which generally will always be your coil. It'll be listed on your coil for a minimum and a maximum amount of pressure. So, generally speaking, in order to be approved for both 410A and 4R22, these are going to be minimally UL listed at about 250 PSI. However, many manufacturers will pressure test them at the factory as high as 800, but closer to 400 PSI. So, I've got it set about 250 PSI. I'm going to go ahead and open up my system so that I can get it to a point at which we're going to hold pressure. As you can see, the pressure inside of the system is rising. This type of a gauge makes it very easy for you to pressure test your system. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and shut off my hoses and I'm going to monitor this for any fall. The digital gauges again kind of help you cheat a little bit because you can see down to the tenth of a PSI whether or not that pressure is falling. Currently it's not. However, I'd want to give it some time to make sure that the pressure isn't falling, as well as go over each of my brazed joints, such as here and at the coil, as well as where my metering device is, so that I can check for bubbles and leaks uh, in that manner. Thank you.